Warriors. How are you today? I believe you are all happy answering your modules at home. Are you excited for a new lesson? This is Teacher Dani Kabate, your grade 4 math teacher. Now, I am ready to help you to become a math tini, a math yaga, and math talino learner. Let's start! I need you to help me to do an experiment. And this are the things needed. We have popsicle sticks in red, green, and yellow colors. A container or a box or a paper box will do. Another thing is a clean sheet of paper together with your ball pens and pencils. If your materials are already complete, you have to put the popsicle stick inside the container. We are going to turn it for 10 times. And whatever popsicle stick we may pick, we are going to record it in your paper in a tabular form. Just like this. Here we go. Picking a popsicle stick, we turn it into the bag 
and record it. So, we are now going to apply the formula in getting the probability. We have the formula experimental probability is equal to number of times the event occurs over the total number of trials. The third step in solving routine and non-routine problem is to solve. Isn't it exciting? I believe you are all excited in this part. The first question is, how many trials of picking a popsicle stick were made? We have to get the sum of the red, green, and yellow popsicle sticks. We have 5, 3, and 2. What is the sum of the following numbers? Correct! It's 10. We have 10 total number of trials. The second question is, how many times the red obstacle stick was picked? Same thing, same. Very good! It was picked 5 times. And the last question is, what is the experimental probability of picking yellow popsicle stick? We are now going to apply the formula. Experimental probability is equal to the number of times the effect occurs, which is uh -huh, 2 over the total number of trials. Correct! Then, we have two deaths. We are now going to get its smallest term. The answer is... One fifth! Congratulations! The experimental probability of picking a yellow popsicle stick is one fifth. Are you all happy that we have found out the correct answer? Me too! Now, it's your turn to do the experiment. Our experiment is entitled, The Emoji Wheel. On your paper, you are going to make a tally sheet on a tabular form where you are going to record the result. Are you ready to spin the wheel? Here we go! Next, what are the given facts? 
check your tally sheets if it will match mine. The emoji will experiment. We have the outcome and the number of trials. The sad face was selected two times. The shy face was selected one time. And the smiley face was selected three times. With a total of six number of trials. The second step is to plan. What are we going to use? The formula of experimental probability. The third step is to solve. Are you ready to solve the problems? Hooray! Let's start! The first question is, how many trials on spinning the emoji wheel were made? We have two, plus one, plus three, is equal to exactly six total number of trials. The second question is, how many times a sad face was selected? Correct! Two times! The third question is, how many times a shy face was selected? Correct! One time! Fourth question is, how many times a smiley face was selected? Great! Three times! Lastly, what is the probability on spinning the emoji wheel and selecting the sad face? We are now going to use the formula. Experimental probability is equal to the number of times the event occurs over the total number of trials. The sad face was selected 2 out of 6 trials. Now, we are going to get its lowest term. The answer is... Great! It's one-third! The experimental probability of selecting the sad face is... One-third! Congratulations, learners! Teacher Danica is so proud of you! Thank you so much, learners, for participating and listening attentively to this video lesson. See you again to our next lesson! Stay safe. Goodbye.